Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Rexorus and in today's guide I'm going to teach you guys how to get this mastery knee pads from the precision challenges. But for some of these challenges, they are quite hard to get so you probably need a friend to help you with one or two. But the knee pads itself, it doesn't look bad. I actually like it, especially when you have the entire set put all together. So continue watching this video and like this video. So the first challenge is called Headhunter and you have to get a total of 5 headshot medals with an assault rifle in a match. The assault rifles I'd recommend is the AK-12, the Battle 27 and the HBRA 370. Mainly because these weapons are fully automatic and it's just easy to get headshots with fully automatic weapons. You can use the IMAR to get headshots with because it's really accurate, especially when you aim it at an enemy's head. If you have an elite variant like the Ball Strike, I recommend you using it for this challenge just to make things easier. But for the challenge, and just aim at the head and shoot the enemy so the time limit for the challenge is 10 minutes which is during a map so the very next challenge is sharpshooting you have to get 10 one shot medals with a sniper rifle in a game so the playlist i recommend you playing on is the one shot playlist because everyone is everyone gets a sniper rifle to play during the match and it'll make things much more easier and fair and you won't be dying every second by the asm1 so play the one shot game mode and choose any sniper rifle you are comfortable with and you'll know when you're doing this um, this challenge right when you receive the one shot medal you can only get 10 kills during a match so get a total of 10 one shot medals during the match so the very next challenge is called danger close and with the wildcard exo bombarder and two lethals you have to get a total of five kills with the lethals during the match so for this challenge you can use any lethals as you want i recommend using a lethal that um, can kill like the centex the cooking frag or the spike drone but for, if i was you i'll pick the spike drone and the centex and don't forget to equip the danger close but just increase your explosive power you have all match to do this challenge so i recommend playing a hard point or, or domination where the enemies are focused on the objective rather than trying to get kills once they are capturing the objective you have the chance to throw your lethal grenades and stuff and don't forget to equip the fast hands perk just to make the exo launcher shoot faster which has helped with this challenge a lot so the next challenge is called say hello and you have to get a triple kill medal sh from shooting from their hips with a heavy weapon or a snap smg I recommend using the ASL1 with extended mags and the laser the laser sight. The ASL1 has great damage but you have to be in short range to do this challenge. I recommend playing domination because enemies often capture flags there and if you can find three enemies at the domination flag, you can hit fire with the ASL1. Hit fire is when you're using the weapon to shoot without aiming down sight. So the next challenge is called Close Quarters Expert and you get killed with a single round from this shotgun 10 times in a game. So the shotgun I recommend is using the TAT-19 because it has high damage, especially when you aim down sight. The attachments I recommend use, use on this weapon is the Quick Draw Grip to aim down faster and the Advanced Rifling to, so you can do more damage at longer ranges. So what you want to do for this challenge is when you spawn enemy, aim down sight, you have to be in close range, shoot, shoot the weapon and you should be able to get the kill. You have to do this a total of 10 times during the map and you should earn this one. The next challenge is called Tick Tick Boom and you have to get a total of 5 sticky medals in a game. So if you throw Centex onto an enemy you should be able to get a stick medal. So for this challenge equip the Centex and use the Exo Bombarder wildcard to equip another lethal. I chose the EMP grenade because you, you want the enemies to be on the floor at all times when you're doing this challenge. So just throw the EMP grenade at the enemy and ho hopefully you'll be able to aim at the enemy and throw the Centex at them. So for this challenge you might want to catch an enemy off guard so you can have the chance to aim at the enemy and throw the Centex at them. You can use the fast hands perk to use the Exo launcher faster and just stick the Centex onto the enemy. So the next challenge is called Protected Kill and with a flat jacket, survive an explosive drone and kill their own in player. Finding an explosive drone during a match is almost impossible since no one uses it and the explosive drone itself is quite pointless especially since everyone has a perk mostly uses a perk to encounter it or they are often in the air. Also, the explosive drone itself is quite weak and doesn't do much damage. So for this challenge, let your friend join the enemy team and you'll need to equip the flak jacket perk. And make sure your friend has the explosive drone. Agree to meet up at a specific place. 
And once you arrive there, have your friend lay down an explosive drone and you with the flat jacket, you have to shoot the explosive drone to destroy it and you have to be within the range of the damage because the challenge states that you have to survive an explosive drone. Then next you kill your friend. You only have to do this once so you can take turns doing this. So the ne very next challenge is called Close Call and you have to survive an encounter with a Goliath by stunning it, stun it with an EMP. If you want to do this challenge very really fast, you have to equip the EMP score streak, I mean the Goliath score streak, give it, give it to an enemy, just leave it in their spawn and just hide until an enemy enters the Goliath. The, chan the chances are very high they will enter it. So make, get your EMP ready, once they enter the Goliath, just, don't, just throw the EMP at them, double tap X if you want to manually detonate it. And they should be stunned for a few, uh, few seconds, hopefully, as long as they are in radius with the EMP. But make sure you have a backup EMP, just in case the first one fails. And that's all there is to it. So the next challenge is called Surprise Package and you have to get a total of 5 kills using the Care Package with the Trap Attachment on it. So just equip the Trap Attachment on the Care Package and you have to earn this in game. You can use Hardline to make this, to take off 100 points off the score streak to make this easier to get. You can use the Drone Delivery to block doorways with it just so the enemies can resort to open the Care Package. And you can also leave it in the enemy spawn so they will pick it up. This challenge can be done in any amount of matches so it doesn't have to be in one life. So the very next challenge is called Aircraft Hunter, you have to use Cold Bloody Perk and destroy 25 control, player controlled aircrafts. So equip the Cold Bloody Perk and the Blind Eye, Blind Eye will help you to not be detected by any score streaks during this challenge. So what you want in your class is the Stinger and the Danger Close Perk to do more explosive damage to the score streaks. The aircrafts that, are, that can be controlled by a player is the Assault Drone, the Aerial Recon Drone, the Warbirds, Pladin and the Vulcan also counts but that's only if you use the alternate method which I'll talk about later but just use a stinger to shoot down any aircraft like the warbird or the ones that has been enlisted it won't always be player controlled but just take the chance and destroy them and it alternative way is to use a system hack with disable enemy score streak it costs 1100 points but if you're up, up for the challenge you can try this way just when an enemy causing a score streak like the Pladin warbird the Vulcan just use this sc score streak and just destroy them all but remember you have to equip the cold bloody perk to make to complete this challenge. So the very next challenge is the pistol layer and you have to get 10 headshots John a map. The best pistol to use for this challenge is the RW1 pistol because it's a one shot pistol and it would be best if you equip the advanced rifling attachment so you can do more damage at longer ranges. Just aim for the heads and shoot at them. You earn a headshot medal which should tell you if you got the headshot or not. If you're not really good at using the RW1 pistol I recommend using the PDW because it's fully automatic and it's very much more accurate to use. The only problem with the PDW it's, it's quite weak and it's outgunned by many other weapons like the ASM1. It's in general it's pretty weak and the uh, M1 irons doesn't count towards this challenge since it's a special weapon. So the very next challenge is to return to sender and you have to get 30 kills with a thrown back grenade. This challenge can be only be done with the cooking frag. So equip the cooking frag and during the match you can throw a grenade and pick it back up to throw it at the enemy. And it should count, especially when you receive the medal, return to sender. A faster way to complete the challenge is to have a friend on the, on the opposite team and you have to meet up at a specific location and let the friend throw a grenade at you and you send it back at him. This is a that's the way to do it and if you have the flat jacket you can reset the fuse when thrown back the grenade so you won't die instantly or when you pick up the grenade. So the next challenge is called situational awareness and you have to get 30 kills by triggering and destructible to explode. So destructible means to be able to be destroyed which are often things like cars which are often things such as cars in the solo map and the right map. You can find the barrels in defender and the chemical chamber capsules in biolab. Best way to destroy these is using explosive lethal or launches or you can just simply shoot them down. I highly recommend playing hardpoint or domination because these destructibles are always near the objective where you find enemies. Also try to play in the map biolab if possible and shoot down the capsules when the enemies are near. So the next challenge is called Master Chief and you have to get 50 kills with cuts grenades so you probably have earned a return to send the challenge by now and you probably only have like 20 kills left so I recommend playing on hard point and just throw grenades into the hard point when enemy has it you can use danger close perks to do more explosive damage 
So the next challenge is drone on drone violence and this is the hardest challenge to do so far because you have to be accurate using the spike drone which is difficult when an enemy is controlling it. Also you rarely encounter one. So the easiest way to do this challenge is to have a friend join the enemy team and let him earn the aerial recon drone. You have to meet up with the recon drone and destroy it using the spike drone. This method doesn't work if you are on the same team on hardcore. So the next challenge is called movie star and you have to get featured in 30 final kill cams. To complete this challenge you have to be in the kill cam. You have to be the guy in the kill cam who's getting the kill as you can see your own play card showing up on the screen in the final kill cam. It doesn't count if you're the one who's on the receiving end. The challenge doesn't state that round ending kill cams counts. So they have to be the final kill cam. Which can only be earned if you're on the winning team and you got the last kill. So just try and stay alive for the last few seconds and find an enemy to kill during that time. And you have to get a total of 30. So the next challenge is called high value targets and you have to kill an enemy with the highest score on the opposing team 100 times. So just for this match, just for this challenge, just play the game normally because you can't really ad identify the player who's at the top of the leaderboard on the opposing team. You can't personally find him so just play the game as normal and try and get as many kills as you can. You'll eventually stumble upon the person with the, with the highest score on the um, opposing team. So just play the game as normal and you should earn it. So the next challenge is called Far Sighting and you have to get three long shot medals in one life. I, I would recommend using the sniper but only if you're on maps like Instinct. But other than that I recommend using the assault, assault rifles on any other maps to, to get long shots. So one good map of getting long shots is is solar, mainly in the middle of the map. This challenge has to be done in one life, so try not to die and use assault rifles like the IMR, the Bow Train 7 or the h Barrow 3 SMGs and other weapons will work well for this challenge since it has to be long, sh long shots. Can't really help you on this challenge but I can give you tips such as using the red dot sight so you can aim properly and using the using other attachments such as advanced rifling to do more damage at longer ranges and having fall grip so you can be more accurate. So the next challenge is called wet work and you have to earn a merciless medal using a class with no grenades or exo abilities. So score streets do count towards the merciless medal. So I highly recommend using a care package with support on it so you can earn high score streaks, especially deadly ones like the assault drone with rockets and AI control, stuff like that. You can also join other players' um, score streaks to get kills with or even, or even Goliath. But the best way to do this is play a game like Domination where you can capture a flag, get a few kills, earn score streaks, to, um, earn score streaks like UAV and System Hat to build up your points towards a high score street like assault drone with rockets on and the hood and once you get kills with that you should be able to earn a merciless medal and don't equip any grenades or exo abilities so the very next challenge costs situation critical and you have to earn a triple kill medal while severely damaged so that means when you taken damage and your screen has turned red you could get a triple kill then once the triple kill medal is still displaying on your screen you can take damage and you earn you will still earn this situation critical but but recommend using weapons like air someone i recommend using smds and assault rifles with extended mags on it just to increase your chances of getting a triple kill you most likely have to enter enemy spawn or or their domination flag just to find three enemies at once this ch challenge is something quite rare to get and there are no other way of other methods of making it easier unless you have like three friends on opposite team allowing you to kill them all at the same time meanwhile taking some damage so the next challenge is called clean house and you have to kill every player on the enemy team at least once, a minimum of 4 players. So this can be done in any game mode or any match, you just have to get at least one kill on the enemy team at least once and it doesn't have to be in one life, it can be during the entire match so this is quite easy for anyone to do at all. Last but not least is slice and dice and you get 15 kills with the combat knife or spike drone in a ma match. The combat knife is just a regular knife you can find on a class with no weapons at all or just, a, or just a class with a primary weapon and no secondary weapon but I recommend you creating a class just just for this purpose and playing a match where people aren't really focused on getting kills and playing the, but rather playing the objective use, use perks like 
lightweight where you can move faster, overclocked so you can move faster as well, and low profile so you can stay off the radar, and blind eye so you can't be seen by the enemy score streak. But once you complete all these challenges, and hopefully you will, in Tulsa there are 20 challenges and it's quite hard to get some of these challenges, especially the situation critical, it's not something that you can force to do. But yeah, this is the 5th piece of the set and I'm almost done with it. So far it looks, it looks way much better than I imagined it would be. But thank you for watching, don't forget to share this video and com comment below which is your favourite part of the set so far. So like this video, peace guys.